Okay, I will call the February 26, 2024 uh, Tangible Parish Council public hearing to order. And we have one item on the public hearing, an ordinance amending and enacting chapter 26, licenses and miscellaneous business regulations, halfway houses, addictive disorder treatment facilities, juvenile detention facilities, and live-in mental health facilities. Anyone here to speak on that? What is this? Let me see. Um, we'll see. Okay. okay. All right. Nobody here to speak on that. I will close the public hearing. I'll call the Tangible Parish Council meeting to order. And I'd ask you if you have a cell phone to please mute it or turn it off. Um, and I'll ask Ms. Hyde to do the invocation and Mr. Ingrafia will do the pledge. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we just thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight to do the business of the parish. God, we thank you for the responsibility that you give to each of us um, to serve the public. And Lord, we just ask for wisdom in doing so. We ask that you be with uh, our military, our law enforcement officers, all of our firemen. Just keep them safe as they go about serving us and protecting us. Lord, we ask that you uh, just continue to heal those on the council who have been sick and who have family members that are sick. Lord, we ask that you go with us as we leave here tonight and keep us safe. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Please face the flag. Would all veterans and act military please render the proper salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> I need to speak to this gentleman in the back one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Sinagra. Here. Mr. Ingrafia. Here. Mr. Joseph. Present. Mr. Havis. Here. Mr. Richtel. Mr. Mayhew. Here. Mr. Wells. Here. Mr. Bial. Here. Ms. Hyde. Here. Ms. Ciotat. Here. Okay, is there a motion to adopt the minutes for February the 12th? So moved. Second. Ms. Hyde and second by Mr. Wells. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Okay, public input. Anyone wishing to address agenda items which were not on the public hearing? Anyone here? Okay. Uh, Mr. Miller, Parish President, report. few little items uh, first one is a financial report we got a finance meeting earlier today you have your finance reports uh, emailed to you as always any specific questions you have you can uh, get in touch with us and we'll be glad to get you the answers and all the background information the first item uh, for action is approval of selection of debris removal and disposal service this is a pre-position contract so whenever we have an emergency that's already in place we just have to pull the trigger um, there were nine submittals and our committee was put together and evaluated those proposals and we'd like to go with DRC emergency services again uh, they have been in place for the last couple of few times we've done this we have great experience with them and we know uh, although nobody's perfect and they aren't either but they respond when we have issues so uh, and, and they also work with us on on um, 
almost any parts of the of the contract that we need they've been very helpful so we'd like to approve them all right let me ask the attorney one question Okay, just a little, lang uh, a little language thing. We're going to ask to amend the agenda for item number two to read approval of request for proposals. Oh, okay. Okay? Yes. So I'd ask for a motion to amend. So Mr. moved. Mr. Second. Mr. Joseph is first. Mr. Angrafi is the second. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Havis. Yes. Mr. Mayu. Yes. Mr. Wells. Yes. Mr. Bial. Yes. Ms. Hyde. Yes. Ms. Ciotat. Yes. Mr. Sinagra. Yes. Mr. Angrafia. Yes. All right, so we would be asking for a request for to award this to DS, DRC, DRC Emergency, Emergency Services, Services, LLC. I'll so move. Ms. Hyde is the first. Is there a uh, second? Uh, yes, I'll second. It went before the Finance Committee today, Mr. Chairman. It looks pretty solid. Okay. Second by Mr. Joseph. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingravia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Okay, motion passed 9 to 0. Thank you very much. Next uh, item. Item number 3, approval to seek bids for one tilting floor kettle for the jail kitchen. Any questions? Is there a motion? So moved. Second. What is the tilting floor? Mr. That's Joseph is the first and big uh, kettle. Mr. Wells big is the five. second. Yeah. So moved, Mr. Chair. And did you get your question answered, Mr. Davis? Okay. Uh, Mr. Joseph was the first, and I think Mr. Wells was the second on that. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Thank you. And the next item is approval to seek bids for two convection ovens B series, and that's for the kitchen, the jail at the, the jail kitchen, kitchen at the jail. Any questions on that? Is there a motion? So moved. Mr. Joseph is the first. Is there a second? Second. Second was uh, Mr. Snagman. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Vial? <coughs> yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? <coughs> Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Motion passes 9 to 0. Thank uh, you. And just for a little information on the item 3 and 4, um, the previous the replacements, uh, the existing kettle and the existing ovens were purchased between eight and 10 years ago from surplus. So um, they were pretty worn out when we got them. So we expect that these newer ones, if we get new ones, it'll last a lot longer. Um, but they, they still last a long time is the point. It's, uh, they, we don't have to buy them very often. The I, remember when, I remember when we got them, but I wasn't in the jail. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you had any meals cooked out of them? Um, <laughs> The next item is approval of the bid for installation of the geosynthetic mater materials part of the cell 16 construction at the landfill. Environmental Specialist International, there was only one bid for $1,273,375. They have been the past um, <coughs> installer of the, the previous uh, three that we built, so we have good experience with them. And this did come within, this particular one came within the proposed budget. So okay. moved. First by Mr. Joseph. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Mayu. Would you call roll, please? Mr. Vial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Ingrafia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Anything else, Mr. Miller? I do not. Does anyone have any questions for me? Great. Uh, thank you all very much. All right, God bless. Thank you. Uh, under regular buildings, adoption of ordinance. 2403, an ordinance amending and enacting chapters 26, licenses and miscellaneous business regulations, halfway houses, addictive disorder treatment facilities, juvenile detention facilities, and live-in mental health facilities. Okay, um, I got a few emails on this today, and this has nothing to do with the homeless shelter that's being opened in the city of Hammond. That is city of Hammond business, okay? This ordinance does, which we have an ordinance on our books, that addresses halfway houses, addictive disorder centers, treatment facilities, juvenile detention facilities, living mental health facilities, 
and we're adding sober living homes and homeless shelters to the process that we have to get uh, those type items approved in, in, in Tangible Parish, okay? But the one that's existing now in the city is in the city limits of Hammond, and we have no jurisdiction over what happens in the city limits of Hammond. We will be changing our ordinance to address those two, but we have an ordinance on the books already that addresses all these centers. There's a process to go through. There's a permit. There's a public hearing. Um, you've got to meet your state requirements. Our t technical review committee has to approve it. Uh, we have to pass an ordinance. You have to have security. There's a number of different thing, processes you have to go through to get that, would get that uh, permit from us for these type facilities. This has nothing to do with the city of Hammond homeless shelter. That is city of Hammond business. So I want to say that out front and um, any council have any, any questions? So if, if a constituent has a question, then they should run that to whomever their council member is in the city of Hammond. Yes. And uh, the mayor's office. Oh, the mayor's office, yes. Okay. And I went to that meeting that day. I think you went to. Did you go? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, which, yeah. yeah. The Bay yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. So it's, oh. But I have gotten a few emails. I think others have, Mr. too. Chairman, I just I want to thank you for that clarification because I got emails, some texts, and some calls. But I did explain to everyone uh, what wasn't necessary for them to come tonight because that was in the city limits of Hammond. And that's not what we're talking about, and we're not discussing it's an issue a permit. We're just discussing changing one hour ordinances. That's all. That's it. Okay. Any other councilmen? Is there a motion? So Mr. Joseph, second. Second would be Mr. Mayhew. Would you call roll, please? Ms. Hyde. Yes. Ms. Ciotat. Yes. Mr. Sinagra. Yes. Mr. Engrafia. Yes. Mr. Joseph. Yes. Mr. Havis. Yes. Mr. Mayu. Yes. Mr. Wells. Yes. Mr. Bial. Yes. Motion passes nine to zero. Okay, we're getting next is introduction of ordinances. These public hearings on these ordinances will be March the 11th. Introduction of ordinance number 2404, an ordinance to abandon the dedication of a public ro roadway encompassing 1.505 acres more or less situated in section five, township seven, South Range and East, located in District 8, which is mine, Tangible Parish, State of Louisiana. Robbie, you want to make a few comments on that? Sure. This is um, requested by the, the landowner who owns the property on both sides of the road and where it ends. Uh, it was built with economic development money some just shortly after Katrina. And um, this is the third owner, I believe, of the property. And they just want to be able to take care of the parking lot and the driveway and all on their own. And quite frankly, it's it's not it has no public service to it other than that business. So it makes sense to just let them take it, and they have all all the, all the responsibility of maintaining it from here forward. Okay. Any other questions, for Mr. Biller? Is there a motion? So moved. Mr. Joseph, is there a second? Second. Second was Mr. Snagra. Call roll, please. Ms. Ciotat. Yes. Mr. Snagra. Yes. Mr. Engrafia. Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Okay, motion passed 9 to 0. Item 8, introduction of an ordinance 2405, an ordinance to place a maximum 90 day moratorium on the construction and debris of approval of all development on construction and debris demolition sites within the Tangible Parish. Uh, we've been getting quite a few inquiries about construction and debris sites. Um, and some of those obviously would be located here in Tangible Parish. And we actually had a meeting today to start talking about regulations that we as a parish could put into place above and beyond with regulations that are out there for the DEQ. Uh, so we had that meeting today and we have another one scheduled, I think uh, fifth or sixth, can't remember. And then the process of that will take it to the uh, Developmental Regs Committee and probably put some additional regulations on these sites above and beyond what is regulated by the state. And I have a Mr. Anthony, I'd like to speak on this. You can come to the podium, please. Is that mine? Good evening. Yes, Thank sir. you. My question is, is the location of this dump site, is that not amongst some of our friends and neighbors right there in the middle of their homes? 
where they raise their families, where I go to church at. I mean, there's a lot of people that live in that area. And it just seemed like they'd be a more suitable place for them to, to figure out to want to put a dump site at. Do they have any, any other options with that? When you say do they have any other options, there's a long process to go through this. It's a private enterprise thing. We, ha we have some input in that from, I don't want to speak for Mr. Miller, but we have some input in that from, as a parish government. As I said, we met today talking about putting some additional regulations on those type sites above and beyond what the DEQ requires. Um, you know, so there are things, some things we can do, but, um, you know, as far as picking the exact site where they do this, that's not in our wheelhouse. That is a private enterprise. Well, isn't the people of the community, that's part of your wheelhouse? Yes, sir. I mean, our we're parish president, wouldn't that be his concern, the safety we're, of our citizens well, in we, that area? We're trying to take all that into consideration. I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't we go out and try to talk to the community and see what they think about all this happening? That's what we're doing right now. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's why it's on there's, the agenda. A, there's a bunch of them. They probably don't even know this meeting exists. That's why it was on the agenda tonight. Well, I mean, they, they just, just things happen. This this is not the meeting to approve anything. Yes, there I, would be another public hearing at that point. I understand. My question is: Is the government taking into consideration that hey, can we look maybe see if there's another place that this can be done, and reject this from going in where it's going in at, because of the community that's surrounding it. I mean, you got houses. You, you ain't that far from Hammond right there. You got houses all through there. You guys on the front row, y'all know that. Mm -hmm. Our parish president, he knows that. I'm sure these people pass up and down Chick Fall Road, they know that. There's churches all up and down there. Okay, we know what goes on at debris sites. And then it, does it go from a debris site to a garbage dump? No, sir, it does not. This, if this is approved, there's a process for construction and debris only, period. Right. That's it. All right. Okay, that is totally separate from a, dump, a garbage dump. Two separate issues. So no, it will not turn into that. So, so why is it these people are getting to, to go seek a permit to put in a, a dump? They haven't seeked a permit. They're going to the state to try to get approval through that process. Then it has to come back to the parish, and that's when we get involved again. So they haven't, haven't applied for a permit. They haven't gotten a permit. There's a long road to hoe at the uh, Louisiana DEQ before they even get approval from them. Probably a year right. is my guess. Look, you're probably a little more educated on all them approvals and all that. I, I, not, ne not, not necessarily. Not really I, got I got educated today because we had the guy from DEQ sitting in a meeting today for that reason so we could try to understand what it took to do this. I got educated today, trust me. So but, but one, the, the, the previous people that own that property, weren't they seeking a permit to, to open up a dirt pit there? I don't know, to be honest with you. Somebody got to help me on that one. I don't know. I don't know if every permit. I don't, I don't know if every every permit well, somebody I, applies I, I for. I kind of have a little insight. Okay. But I believe they were seeking a, a permit to open up a, a dirt pit. So you sound like a lawyer. You only ask a question you know the answer to, right? Well, that's the only <laughs> one I know the answer to. But what I'm saying is, they couldn't get a permit to open up a dirt pit. Right. That's not hazardous to the community. That's going to help grow and build the community. But then we're going to give somebody a permit to come in there and start a, a dump. I can't say we are or we aren't. Well, that, okay. That, that, well, we all know what big money does, and that's what I, a lot I don't want to hear that, I, sir. I don't right want to hear that. Well, don't go that, there. That, that, that's why don't I'm accuse what, me of anything like that. I don't want to hear nothing about big money. I'm not accusing money. you. I'm talking about the companies okay. that come in that's got the money to buy I, these lands. Sir, your three minutes. Your three, your three minutes are up. Thank you very much. I'll ask oh, you to when, sit back. When down. the people start to talk, then y'all don't want to listen. The three minutes are up. I'll ask you to sit down. And thank you. What we're doing tonight. Is hitting the pause button for three months and let us let us figure yeah, this out. Let's, let's let's set some regulations so yeah, we then can. it'll be like Highway 40 with garbage all along my fence from going to the Hano Road dump. We gonna try which to you see that. somebody out there picking up garbage maybe once a year. We're gonna try to protect that. That's another. Thing. I'll take offense to that because we we pick up trash all the time. It's much no, more than sir. once a year. I live right there on. I'm sorry. I had to it's call you off. That's enough, Mr. Anthony. That's enough. Please. 
Thank you. Yeah, appreciate we, we you. We don't want to hear the people, the working man. I appreciate yes, you. All we do is what goes on. With I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you for calling for us to make sure that we're picking up the garbage. But it's definitely much more than once a year. It's well, multiple times a year. Okay. Well, thank well, you very much. But there's a, a schedule well, that we're running. State, then I had to call yours. Well, if it's a, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because Highway 40 is a state highway, and we do still pick up garbage on their on I'm trash on their side. Okay, the next item on the agenda is board appointment. Uh-uh. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make the motion on this. I'll make the motion on this moratorium. Okay. And is there a second? Yes. I'll second. I'll second. Davis, oh, and who was second there? Mr. Joseph was the second. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Mr. Engraffia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayhew? Yes. Mr. Wells? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Okay, motion passes nine to zero. Um, and again, we'll be meeting on the 5th, and then after that, we'll take it to the Developmental Regs Committee for additional regulations. Then that will go into an ordinance form. We'll get that passed, and then we'll see where this goes. Okay, board appointment. Recreation District 39A, approved new appointment. Joe V. Giacconi, first term, expires <coughs> April 2029. Yeah. District 4, that's Mr. Havis. I will make that motion. Okay. David, I like I like the second that we both share that that uh, <laughs> appointment. But let me say this to the council members and those: um, we just started a soccer league for our kids at the at Fontana. Started Saturday. There must have been two hundred little kids out there <laughs> playing soccer, and about two hundred parents and grandparents. And it's a beautiful day for it. And I want to encourage and thank you for this appointment because JB worked hard at Independence High football game with Coach Bags as well. So he'd be a great addition. But that's a great move for the town of Independence. Thank you. Good for those kids too. Yeah, excellent. All right, there was a first by Mr. Havis and a second by Mr. Joseph. Call roll please. Mr. Graffia? Yes. Mr. Joseph? Yes. Mr. Havis? Yes. Mr. Mayu? Yes. Mr. Wills? Yes. Mr. Bial? Yes. Ms. Hyde? Yes. Ms. Ciotat? Yes. Mr. Sinagra? Yes. Passes nine to zero. The next item is beer, wine, liquor. Do we have any? None. Legal, legal matters? None tonight. Councilman Privileges, anyone? Yes, ma'am. Miss Ciotat has one. Okay. I just wanted to say thank you um, to everybody. I know Mr. Buddy's not here, but um, as a new councilwoman, you've all taken me under your wing, and I just wanted to take the opportunity to thank all of you and Mr. Miller and just Richard and Cindy and all of you guys, thank you very much um, for all of your help and just any questions I've had. And uh, especially, I'm going to give a shout out to Miss Jill because she's keeping me straight. So thank y'all very much for the warm welcome. Appreciate we always you. shout out to Miss Jill. Trust me. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, Joseph. Yeah, uh, Rob. I'd say this: you were not in here, but I want to let you know that uh, from from your position in the parish down to the lowest man on the totem pole. I want to thank you all for your thoughts and your prayers. My wife was admitted to the hospital last Sunday night, came out Wednesday night. She's doing well, and a lot of it had to do with the thoughts and prayers that you guys sent upstairs for us, and we really, really appreciate it. Keep our buddy Richard's wife, Michelle, in your prayers. So Rose, my wife contracted COVID, and pneumonia, and I think Buddy's wife has pneumonia as well. So let's let's keep them in our prayers. And I thank you so much. Okay. Anyone else? Um, is there a motion to adjourn? I so move. Uh, is, are there any objections? Here. Oh, we got a second. No, uh, no objections. Meeting is adjourned.